buddy. Today, I'll be showing you how to rig up trolling KCPs for these springers coming up. Be running your two hook set. These are size one owners. Super Needlepoint SSW. These are red. 25 pound, this is 25 pound. Salmon Steelhead P-Line Fluoro. It's even quality inspected, guys, you know. I mean, if it's not quality inspected, I probably wouldn't run it, but. We're gonna loop this top hook, make your wraps, take the end of your line here, right up through the back side of that shank, pull it through, snug it tight, Boom. It's always good to offset them if you can. This one's kind of halfway. It's all right. It's gonna fish. We're gonna rig this one up with a bobber stop. A lot of different ways to do this. Wait, don't fast forward yet. Smash that thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Turn that bell on. Get notified. Make sure YouTube understands that you guys love this video. Help the algorithm. Come on guys, let's go. Put your line through that tube. And it basically just pulls right off. Throw that tube away. Snug it, slide it down. We got hooks going everywhere. Slide it on down there. Pull it tight. As tight as you can. Got a little bit there. Leave, you know, about a quarter inch. That way you can play with it as you fish. You don't need to cut it all the way down. Gives the fish something else to look at as well. It never hurts. Got our rotten banana kokanee cut plug. This is Brad's killer fishing gear. We're gonna go up through that top left, through the belly, up the top left, this thing's gonna be spinning nice and crazy down there. So once again, we're through the belly, through that main hole, and then we're up through the top left. Top left. Gives it a little different action. You can see that bevel, that cut plug. It's the coconut cut plug, the smallest one. These spring chinook typically tend to like these. Put your tuna in there. This thing opens up. Boom. Still got the scent pad. You can use that. Put scent on there if you want. But you really just toss those. Pack it. Don't overpack. You know you want this thing to close. Rubber band on. Boom. Scent will leach out those holes there. Be, be slaying, be slaying out there. It's rotten bananas, easily my favorite color. And the fish just can't resist it. They don't even know it's rotten. <laughs> they don't even know it's rotten. Oh, uh, we're gonna go about 30 inches on this. You know, we don't want anything super long. Run everything on a six bead, at least a four bead. Keeps everything spinning behind your 360. So we'll go ahead and tie this on here. And there it is. Brad's coconut cut plug, rotten banana. Ready for these springs from the, on the upper plug here. Pulling this behind a 360, lead dropper. Let's go catch some. We'll see you guys out there. Let's get it. 2022.